What's up guys? So these are some of the formats that you're going to see in the squat fitness workouts. So repetitions is going to be very prominent. You may see like, you know, assert four exercises and you may see 10 push-ups, 15 TRX rows, 15 squats, and 20 sit-ups. Uh, and then we may assign a, a certain number of rounds to that. So in this case, you would do 10 push-ups, 15 TRX rows, 15 squats, 20 sit-ups, and then you would do two extra rounds. Um, so that would be a basic repetition workout. Another thing you, we may do is we may time that. So we may say, hey, listen, you gotta do the three rounds, you have to do the, the exercise in this order before, or do this repetition before you move on to the next set, and then we're gonna time how long it takes you to do that. And then that way, we, it's almost kinda like a report card. The next time we do that, we can kinda check and see where they're at and see if they're making progress on that time. Uh, another way we may do this is we may take the rounds out. We may say, we have a 20 minute AMRAP. So in this case, they would do these exercises for 20 minutes, getting as many rounds as possible, which is what the AMRAP stands for, and then they may record how many rounds that they get within that time period. Um, so it'll be a set number of time when you do the AMRAP. Uh, and then another thing we may do is uh, we may do something called divide. So you may have all these exercises at 100 reps, but you can split up the reps however you want to. In other words, you don't have to do 100 push-ups, have to do 100 TRX rows. You would maybe do as many as you can here, as many as you can there, and come back to them until the 100 reps uh, of all the exercises are done. So that would be an example of a divide workout. Another, uh, another way you see repetitions is just different schemes. So you'd see like a ladder. So it may start at 20 reps, and then we may take two, two repetitions off every round. And so the next round, so they did 20 of everything, next round they do 18 of everything, then 16, and then so forth until a certain number. Maybe until they get a 10, or maybe until they get to zero. Uh, you would also see, and we do that ascending, descending. So sometimes we start lower and build up higher, sometimes we start high and then do low. Another thing you may see is a lucky seven format, um, which is, you know, you would have an exercise like uh, that kind of combines together like a squat to high pull. So you do a squat and you do a high pull. Then you do two squats, two high pulls, three and three, four and four, five and five, all the way up to you get to seven. That will be a lucky seven format. So there's several different like repetition schemes that we're going to use, but that's the basics of the repetitions format. Now the interval format, uh, you may have a similar set of workout, but you're going to do exercises for a certain period of time and you're going to have a work period and you're going to have a rest period so for in this case i'm going to do 40 seconds on 20 seconds of rest so you do 40 seconds of push-ups rest for 20 then move to the next station then you do uh 40 seconds of trx rows 20 seconds of rest keep repeating that for a certain number of rounds now one thing that you definitely want to do when you're using that is set your clock you set your work period up and then you set your rest period up how you do that is you hit the work Hit the set button, plug in the time you're looking for, hit set again, and then do the same with the rest. And that way it's already set up for you. So if you're giving somebody modifications or helping somebody out, you don't have to sit there and worry about the time. The time's gonna beat for you and let people know when they need to start and stop. Another thing you need to note is the R on the, uh, on the clock, which indicates their rest time. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much with the intervals. One other option you may see here is like, uh, you, may, you may see a, a 20, you're gonna see different time intervals, but you will see a, a 20 10 so you have the 20 work rest 10 but you may see instead of rounds down here maybe listed out here at each one of them so that means you would actually stay at that station for four rounds before you move on or rotate to the next exercise all right so those are intervals and the next one we're going to talk about is challenges so a challenge would be one to five exercises i don't know and you, you're going to have uh so we'll say 50 push-ups on the toes and then 50 TRX rows and that you can split up the reps however you want to or, or divide like we talked about earlier but you have four minutes or a set number of time to complete those exercises and once the four minutes is up you're done regardless of if you complete the reps or not it's just there to be a challenge right it's there to kind of push you to get those repetitions done main thing is there is to make sure that people are getting good form and they're using uh, you know heavy enough weights a lot of times when you say we're doing a challenge or you say we're doing some time you have to watch for people that aren't uh, aren't getting the full effect of the exercise because they're trying to complete the reps too fast. Um, main thing is that they get an awesome workout. So again, a challenge would be, uh, you know, we may say, uh, you know, 60 squats, 40 sit-ups, and they have a certain amount of time to do that in. It's usually four minutes. 
uh, but there are some different challenge setups. All right, minute to win it. Um, this one is awesome because you're, you may stay, you're probably gonna stay in a station for four rounds on this one, and you may have uh, you know, two exercises. So I'm gonna put four, down, four times down here, four times down here. So we'll say you got 10 push-ups and five TRX rows. And we're gonna start the, uh, the FGB on the clock. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna beep every single minute. So your goal is to get these two exercises done as quickly as possible. And then for the rest of that minute, you get to rest. But as soon as that minute restarts, then I'm gonna hit round two. Get it done as quickly as possible. Then I'm gonna hit round three. Get it done as quickly as possible. Then I'm gonna hit round four when that minute repeats itself. If you don't do it fast, then that minute's gonna catch up with you and you're not gonna get any rest time. So it really just, it kind of forces you to get really explosive with the movements and, uh, and get them done as quickly as possible. You know, so you get that rest period in. Um, so that is the minute to win it. Uh, another type of workout is the is FGB on here. So you would click this and it's, it's a specific way that we do some of, uh, you know, a, a repetition workout. So that will end up being, it's three rounds total and it's five exercises. So we'll just say, uh, uh, we'll just say squat and press here. And you have a minute at each station and the minute continuously it recurs just like we talked about in the minute to win it but you don't get any break so you'll do this for a minute that for a minute that for a minute keep repeating that uh and then f after five exercises you get a one minute rest you keep up with how many reps so if you got 10 here 15 here whatever you add those up and then at the end of the entire workout you post your score so how many of a reps but again every every round you do you get a minute rest so you run to the three to the five exercises a minute a piece and that is the fgb format now card workouts are there's two variations of that one variation is you may say that uh spades or push-ups and hearts are sit-ups all a lot of stationary exercises and the trainer just pulls out a card and whatever number it is is how many repetitions so in this case it'd be what four push-ups so everybody would do that and then you pull out another card and you keep doing that repetitively after you kind of see there's a lot of separation in the group you may do something to kind of blitz them for a second, give them a little break, and then kind of recap everybody for that type of workout. Uh, the other way we do a card workout is we may have like an index card or just a piece of paper, and uh, the member comes up and they grab whatever's on top. We have a deck or a stack. They grab that, take that with them, they do the exercises listed on it, and then they come back and then redraw. So it's kind of a gamble on what it is that they get. Um, and if they get the same thing, then it's by chance they have to do it again. So that's another way that you may see one of the card workouts listed. An interruption is really simple. You may have like a, 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 a set workout like this right here and say every 10 minutes, you just stop everybody, whatever they're doing, and then send them on a run. Or you may stop everybody in, send, in a certain time period and send them on a burpee. Um, a blitz is exactly what it says it is. It's, it's everybody does, the trainer just kind of stops everybody, pulls everybody out and uh, it's a lot of plyometric movements, um, and every 15 to 20 seconds, you're just switching. So they never really get to stop. They're just constantly changing up for, it's usually very short time periods for one minute to three minutes, but it's just there just to kind of, just to finish them off right there at the end and really get their heart rate up and max that out. Um, a lot of times you can do that in between your uh, cardio fusion sets, anything that you need to do to kind of like uh, make a good bridge to the next uh, to the next interval or the next segment of the uh, of the workout. So that's a blitz. All right, so a partner workout, uh, there's two different ways you would do this. Uh, there's one that's called Save Me, and obviously you got to partner up for these workouts. It's always good to have someone that's like you, but the team ones, it doesn't matter. The Save Me, you kind of want somebody that, that's, uh, you know, that's similar fitness level-wise to you. So let me give you an example of this right here. So this one, you may have two exercises, but you only specify the number of reps for one of the exercises. So you say 15 push-ups and the TRX rows. Well, that means you have to communicate. Both of you start the exercise at the same time, but this uh, person B has to do TRX rows until the 15 push-ups are completed. So it kind of puts pressure on this person, you know, to do their exercises uh, a little bit faster um, so they can save their partner, right? So you may have like a, a, a wall sit, and then sit-ups, so there's 20 sit-ups. So, you know, you gotta do the 20 sit-ups before your partner can get out of the wall sit, so you kinda save them. Um, so that's one way you do that. Another way that we would do uh, the, the partner workout is a team. So we may say, uh, 
50 push-ups, 50 TRX rows, 50 squats, and 50 sit-ups. Actually, I'm gonna put fives here. So 55, you're always gonna make it an odd number. And what that's gonna do is they, they do, that only one person can work at a time and they complete the reps basically however they want to, but you know, push-ups, you have to do those as a team. So like, as long as you get the 55 as a team, doesn't matter who does what. So if somebody's stronger at push-ups there, you know, one person can do 30, the other person can do, you know, whatever they can do, and then you can jump back in. But you have to do that station until the 55's done, but you can split it up and use each other's strengths and, and weaknesses to your advantage so you can get through that workout as quickly as possible. A lot of times we will time that team partner workout, but that's how you would orient it. It's a, it's a big number of reps. You split it up, and it doesn't necessarily have to be even. But again, all your partner stuff, you want to be communicating with your partner. Like to save me, you know, what is the point if you don't start to exercise at the exact same time? And then the team workout, you know, you want to be, it's one person can work at a time. That way the person that is working, you're getting really explosive, just knocking out reps. The other person's kind of recovering. And then boom, you just keep switching that back and forth. So guys, those are the formats that we use within Squad Fitness.